Hello and welcome into my new channel Whitetail Creative Design It is my first go so please forgive me that I'm still learning the software and how to record the voice This was my first project that I will be converting this mahogany a piece of timber into a shelf that my partner will be using when having a bath so hopefully she will enjoy it This is my new logo Whitetail creative design. My name is Jurek and I would like to have in the near future quite a few videos that hopefully you will enjoy. This is my <laughs> attempt to cut out the wine slot for the glass and I made a little cock up. Uh, it was not the best idea to clamp this white piece of shelf as a guide you will see in a couple of seconds that it has moved and now I'm just adjusting the depth just to uh, cut through the piece of timber in few passes so that it will leave a nicer finish, nicer edge. Now we will be able to see that it is worth clamping from both sides. I have made a mess out of it. Luckily, I wanted to have the cutout a little bit wider, so I managed to save the project and I'm having a second to go at making it wider and hopefully this time will be parallel. Second go was slightly better. I managed to keep the cutout parallel, and on that occasion, you can see in the background that they used both clamps on both sides, so the cutout was much better. I tried to cut it in few passes to keep the edge nice and smooth. That's why now I have a guide from the original cutout to keep the bit rolling against it so the whole cutout should be nice a little bit more smooth. I'm using the double-sided sticky tape uh, to attach those little timber buttons uh, as a guide. Unfortunately I made a little mistake <clears throat> and as you can see in a second I will get a little bit of a kickback and I managed to cut into the guide, denting my piece of timber. Yep, and you can see it there. Not much you can do about it at this stage, because I wanted to keep the nice spacing of the slots for a Kindle. To be fair, slot number two and three was a little bit nicer and easier. The rest of the cutout was a little bit better. You will see on the next cutout that I used end stops uh, so that the whole cutout will be nicer. Yes, you can still see a little dent. Whoopsie. And now I'm testing how the Kindle will stay in the slot. I don't want it to be bang on vertical. I just wanted the Kindle to be able to lean back so that it will be nicer and easier to read. All the other slots would be a little bit different width so that the Kindle could be slightly aligned in a different way so it would be hopefully easier to read when in the bath. On the second cutout I was using end guides as well and that way the whole cutout was a little bit easier to manage.
change of the router bit to round off edge and end of the slot so that the wine glass will nicely be positioned and will not rock too much. Now uh, I'm going to try to make a circuit. That was not the best approach. I couldn't find any templates that I could run a circle for candle or a coffee mug. I'm not entirely happy with the quality of the cutout. It's not as smooth and as round as I would want it to be. I think I will have to invest in the future in a nicer round profiles to run it across. Now. I'm adding just a 3mm radius chamfer all the way around, just to finish it off. And a bit of sanding. Who doesn't love sanding? I hate it, but hey ho. And I will be testing a different type of the sandpaper, Mirka. It's quite good, it doesn't get clogged so easily, so it lasts a little bit longer and you can just open the pores by whacking your hand or the piece of paper against it, so it is lasting a little bit longer than traditional sanding paper. I will speed this one up to save you a few seconds of your life. And now the fun part. I really enjoy using Rubio Monocoat. You have to mix this one in line with the guidance. I use quite small quantities of it, hence I use the syringe to uh, use the correct mix of the hardener versus the original product. As the name suggests, it could be applied once. However, I do like to apply one coat, leave it to dry, and then on the next day, apply a second coat. And this gives a really, really nice deep finish. As you can see on the photographs, it's just bringing up all the character of the wood. Thank you for watching my first video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Feedback and comments, welcome. See you soon. Thank you.